Hello everyone, welcome back to another product modeling tutorial which you will never use <laughs> but I am sure you will learn lots of new things on this one so this is what I'm gonna model today hope you like that and new learn things so let's just start I will start with the image plane go to front view no actually let's go to right view shift and V back select image plane select cylinder from object menu rotate that i will set my height to one i will keep the 16 it's not too low and not too high either i'm gonna make that slightly larger than the image plane i mean the shape because when i add subdivision surface it will shrink i will turn off caps you will not need that make it editable now I will the points, I will right click, select line cut, turn off visible only and single line. So if, if you turn visible only, the cut will affect the other side as well. I can delete this one more time. You can delete that side because I will use symmetry. I will add another look cut right here select that edge because it is the perfect edge for me to extrude to preserve the shape i mean if you delete this we will get a really good transition i will position this press ctrl extrude that edge so we are working on the x-axis so I should set that to zero on the word coordinates. These polygons will be inactive, useless. So just delete them. Now I need to close that cap over here. This is going to be fairly easy. I will just add a look at and flip the bridge one more time. Then I'm going to select this these i need to connect them with that polygon but you know the resolution is not the same so i will add two loop cuts switch to points mode and that is points let's add a subdivision surface over the symmetry so obviously we will need some sporting edges here and here i want to check the normals yes some of them are flipped but it is easy to fix right click select reverse normals oh sorry align normals okay we will need something else for example that sporting edge over here switch to points mode about this and that way we will get a quad over here instead of triangle if I subdivide that, I will get a better result. You will have something else though, you know, you see that you have some kind of extrude. So I will add a loop cut over here, make a loop selection and extrude along the normals. Something like that. Press Q. So if I of the symmetry you will see that that extrude created these extra polygons so i'm gonna undo that extrude go to symmetry and enable these options so that when i extrude symmetry will automatically automatically delete these new polygons if i turn symmetry off you will see that there will be not center polygons i think that side is okay as you can see Maybe we can move that edge loop to make the edges sharper, or we can do that later. No, the hard part is here. I'm, I'm gonna select these polygon uh, edges and move them over here where the curve ends. Press Ctrl and extrude. So that edge should match with that one. 
because I'm gonna merge these. I can close that all with close polygon hall. Maybe we can slide that edge. So these are already selected. I'm gonna press Ctrl and extrude this. The position is not important because I'm gonna wet these ones with these ones. Okay, perfect. There is another thing. I want that transition, I mean the edge flow to be perfect. For that, I will create a new path starting from here. And let me turn off that work plane. So I'm gonna wrap that. We will have a triangle over here. So let's create another path. Also, that new path will act like a sporting edge to hold that shape over here. This all that. So now I have a continuous loop, which is perfect for these kind of situations. I will add another sporting edge over here. If I press Q and enable, support, enable subdivision surface, you will see that I will need that. If I add that, I will get a better curve. Something happened over here. Let's double click on these edges and dissolve them. Now I want to dissolve these new edges. I'm gonna add them later. The reason that I dissolve them because I want to make a good bevel over here with these ones. It's gonna make problems. So now select these edges, select bevel. I believe the one will be too low. Let's try two. Same with these ones. Switch to points mode and connect these with line cut tool. But I will turn on visible only because I can accidentally cut other polygons just like happened over here. I can connect these. Now everything in here he squats but i want a better surface so i'm gonna select these right click extrude inner and make something like that with points mode i'm gonna slide some of the points now in here i'm just gonna merge these this is gonna create triangle that can add a loop cut or just create any path. Same here. Dissolve this. Okay, everything looks perfect. So now we have that hole. To create this, I'm gonna select these points and move them maybe we can lower transparency same thing over here since that that part is perfectly flat i can move these points without any problem that part is okay now i'm gonna check the upper part Okay, let's delete this. Or we can press Ctrl, extrude, then delete. So we can see if the sh shape is okay or not. I'm gonna enable subdivision surface. First thing, I will add a loop cut to the inside, then make a loop selection. And for the outside, I'm gonna create that edge loop. Let's check the bottom first. We can add these loop cuts. And of course here you can see that when I add that, it's gonna preserve the curve a lot better. We will need same thing for the top. I'm gonna add this. And maybe one over here.
and this is going to be the last one. Okay, everything looks perfect. Now I can delete these polygons because I'm going to create a new one. Double click on this, press Ctrl and extrude. I should stop here. I'm going to press Ctrl and convert these edges to points. Just select these ones and move them. Uh, actually, I am going to select these because these are going to overlap if I go too much. So I will go here, then select this one. I will just reselect these and do the same thing. This time I'm going to include that point and smooth. Maybe we can make these perfectly flat. I'm going to enable subdivision surface. I will move them on the X, then press Ctrl, extrude, set their position and size to zero. I mean, the size is already zero, so I'm just going to set my X to zero. I will add my sporting edges. Now I should get a perfect surface. Now we have something like a trigger. Let's do that quickly. So that edge will give me enough space for the top, but I will need another one for the bottom. Let's add that loop cut. Now select this. Yes, these are right. And extrude them along the lormus. I mean, just press a uh, left click, extrude this. So if I enable subdivision surface, you will see that I will need supporting edges. I'm going to add this quickly. For the top part, instead of adding that one, I'm just going to select this. Then maybe we can select this. Actually, let's select that as well, and I'm going to move down. Now I can select this. Extrude them. We can add one loop cut to the inside. Okay, that's perfect. Maybe if you want here to be sharper, you can add that loop cut as well. Now these are already selected. I'm going to split these and make these into a one group so the symmetry will work for both of these. I'm going to extrude these polygons do that one more time this time i will change my orientation to normal and scale them on the y-axis i will add my loop cuts maybe here okay this time i want to make that part so easy way will be the splitting these polygons, right click, split, I'm gonna rotate them 90 degrees and slide them down, this is gonna be just for reference, because I'm gonna select my original cylinder, let's switch to points mode, select line cut, and create these new cuts based on the second cylinder, We can do that with plane, but it's going to be a waste of time. That should be enough. So, to, we will have that empty point. I'm going to connect that. Select this. Press Ctrl. Let's change our orientation to world. Press Ctrl. Extrude. I'm going to scale them to zero. By the way, this sketch or concept is not exactly what we get i tried that but i believe there is something wrong with the image plane i mean not wrong but you know if you don't work with 3d you will get the unmatched size and this is the reason so i'm just gonna keep them like that 
I will press Ctrl, extrude. I want to scale them. But since we have symmetry, I should change my axis to the very center. Scale them. Press Ctrl. Scale them one more time. Okay, that should be enough. Now I will make an extrude inner and I will subdivision surface. Maybe a loop cut here and here. Let's see. Yes. Here, here, and here. Also, I will add these ones to make edges sharper. I believe that there is one thing. Yes, that one. And why don't we add that one? So we will get kind of even polygons. I will turn off that empty cap, press Ctrl, extrude, and add these cuts. I think I should close that cap as well. So press Ctrl, extrude. Okay, the shape is fine. Press Ctrl, extrude inside, add these loop cuts. Okay, maybe I can add a loop cut over here as I did here to get kind of even polygons. You don't have to do that, but you know, it looks way better and more organized. Same thing on here. We can select these and select them, but don't select these ones. I use them as sporting edges. I will let that look cut. Then we have these long polygons. I will let these exploding edges or just look cuts. Let's check the mesh. Maybe we can select these to get the exact shape of the image plane. So that point is causing stress. So we can slightly move it on the X, but not too much because we don't want to break the perfection of the cylinder. And I can do that on these edges as well. Okay, perfect. Now I want to get that seam over here. You can see that. I can do that with that polygon count, uh, but we can break the cylindrical shape and also we may need to model these holes, which means more resolution. I will go to subdivision surface and set them to one. This should be enough. And make it a little pressy. I will select these one more time and select that side. Split, select that null and add a symmetry. Now I'm gonna reposition these points right on that seam. I'm gonna select these now. Let's check that one more time. Okay. I will select bevel. It's gonna be two subdivisions so that I can select the polygon loop in the middle. That should be enough. I should also merge these points. I will select the polygons in the middle and let's not forget to enable that these options on the symmetry. Select normal move and push these polygons down. To make them sharper, I will add these loop cuts, select them, press control and slide. Same for these edges as well. I will delete that empty null and add a subdivision surface.
Evet, got early git same. Nearly identical. I believe we have some kind of similar shape. Yes, over here. I will make a loop selection. Just double click on this. Bevel. I will keep the same settings. Bevel these. Now select the polygons in the middle with loop selection and push them down with normal move. And I will subdivision surface. Now we have that piece. I'm gonna select that loop, press Ctrl, extrude. Select these polygons with loop selection. I will split this, go back to original and delete. We want that to be a perfect cylinder, so we will not need, need this. Delete them. I will select these edges. It's the chance you press shift. I will add the loop cuts between these, then resolve these edges. Now I should get a perfect cylinder. I should just make them flat. Now I need to close the cap, press control that one more time and the loop cuts another one or i just can slide these select these root. now we can shoot these then collapse them but this is going to give us triangles, so I'm just going to select these and extrude them on the X, then set both position and size to zero. Watch this. It's going to give us a perfect cap. Now we have another challenging part, and it's going to be these three holes. Before making this tutorial, I tried to model this whole thing and that part was the most challenging part because that subdivision count i mean the polygon count was not enough to get these holes perfectly i did get them but i got some pinching so as you know i would like to get a perfect result as much as possible so to do that i am gonna split that part make this loop selections then fill selection right click split go back to original one and delete these polygons so basically i will subdivide that part so let's right click open subdivide options set it to one but enable smooth subdivision it's gonna be just like uh, the regular subdivision surface we use I will say OK. It's going to subdivide this. Now we got what we wanted. I mean, these edges. This is going to give me enough result. But these excessive edges will not be necessary. So I will dissolve this. And especially here, can easily dissolve these ones. Okay, now I will create a reference for the holes. I will do that with disk. I will make it eight segments, duplicate that, make them one object, right click, connect objects and delete. I can delete these points, select these edges. It's the chance you, but press shift. I will add these loop cuts to hold the curve. I will subdivision surface i will select them all and move them over here also let me reset the axis scale that down then switch to points mode and move these points i will use rule 
So I'm gonna extrude this with caps on. I'm gonna make the hole on these polygons. Before that, let's scale this to zero. Okay, now I want to see the exact edge count. Let's deselect edges in the inside. It says 16. If you don't have that, press Shift and V, go to Hood and enable selected points or edges. That means I should have 16 edges on that cylinder as well, but it says 14. So I'm gonna move, up, move that edge loop up and create a new one right in the center. It should now be 16. I will select my cylinder one more time, make an extrude inner because I'm going to connect these new points with that cylinder after bool. I will add a bool to that one and I'm going to put the disc under the cylinder, go to bool, enable create single object and press C. Now. I need to weld this point. Okay, now if I subdivide that, I should get a perfect surface without no pinching. I need to clone these on these sides as well. To do that, I should first get the exact polygon count just like here so I'm gonna make these edges flat actually we will need more so I'm gonna slide this as well I can't delete these polygons select these ones right click mirror let's try that so nothing happened because I need to change my mirror plane X and Y should work. Perfect. Now all I have to do select these points and belt them. For that part, I will need a loop cut. Actually, I can slide this to make more polygons, but I believe this is gonna break the sharp edges. So I will just add the cut and delete. Just like we did before, I'm gonna mirror these. And that the points, that's all. Okay, everything looks fine. Now, all we need an extrude. Extrude this. Maybe we can add a supporting edge with sliding this. Okay, perfect. Enable symmetry. So these ones are a little off. Can fix that by positioning positioning it zero on the x-axis. Since we have splitted this, I will extrude them, and we can use these edges as supporting edge. I will change my slight offset mode to proportional. Let's solo that. Because I need to set these points to zero as well. Actually, I should have used weights. So these points were going to be on zero. I will set them to zero, maybe these ones. So we have something like that over here. I'm gonna make the same thing again bevel with two subdivisions. 
select the inside polygons with loop selection and move them with the normal move tool. Now let's finish that model with the last piece over here. We can select these edges, press Ctrl, extrude, then one more time, switch to scale tool and set your X to the minus 100%. By the way, if you switch views, your axis will move. Like if I scale them from right view, you will see that the axis has moved over here. So watch that out. I will use that side just for reference, but I'm gonna scale them from my perspective view. More extrude, this time I will Extrude them inside. This piece should be a separate part. So let's select these edges. Loop selection. Field selection. Split and delete original one. Now I can extrude these as well. And I will start with my loop cuts. Okay. That looks fine now we have these things i don't know what are they but let's try to make something similar i will select these three polygons i believe it's gonna be enough then split i will select these ones small extrude or just let's just extrude that edge one more extrude. Now I'm going to stop over here. Actually, let's make that object solo. I want to merge this point. By the way, watch out what you select. My eyes always over here. So it says that I have selected three points. Yes, that one. Now I will move these points over here. Then we can select them all and scale them to zero to make them straight. Let's close that hole with close polygon hole tool. This time I need to connect these points. Actually, I can make any of that over here. And use them like that. Maybe we can make these polygons flat. I will continue to Connect the empty points. I will add my sporting edges. Since we have a triangle over here, loop cut won't work. I will continue with my cut. And we will need something similar over here. and that side as well we have an angle here so let's connect it over here that way we will get quads the only triangle part is here why not we just merge this Okay, let's enable subdivision surface. Yeah, not bad. Maybe edges are too sharp, but we can change that by sliding these sporting edges. Okay, for the final thing, I can add the symmetry and change the inner plane. 
enable subdivision surface and maybe some ambient occlusion fake ambient occlusion also you know you don't want to see the inside i'm gonna create a cylinder to kind of block that view okay i think modeling has over thank you very much again for watching i hope you learned something new and i will see you in the next videos